Hello and welcome to this video on how to display negative time in Excel. Now there are not many reasons why you'd want to do this, but if you do, there are some problems. Now this example was brought to me as a question by one of the subscribers of this YouTube channel where they had some marathon times and they were calculating the difference between the finish time of the current year and that of the previous year and that was creating these negative time issues. So for this example I have the finish time from the men's category of the last six London Marathon winners and in column D I'm going to calculate that time difference. So in cell D3 nice simple formula of equals the current year finish time subtract the previous year's finish time. I'll press enter to confirm and copy that down and here you can see the negative time issue. In a year where the time was quicker it is then a negative difference and we're getting these horrible hashes but when it was slower that's absolutely fine to show that time difference. Now we're going to see two ways of dealing with this problem. Now the first method, the main method of dealing with this, is to change the date to the 1904 system. So Excel is based off a 1900 system, the 1st of January 1900 is when the times begin, but we can change that to 1904 to deal with this issue. Now one thing I want to note before I do this, I do have two dates entered in cells G1 and H1 and I've done that because you're going to see a problem there. If I needed those dates, if they were useful to me, then by changing it to this 1904 system, it's going to fix the times but damage those dates. Now that may be an issue in your scenario, that may not be. If it's not, then fantastic. If it is, then we have to look at our second approach. But let's get this done up to File, down to Options, into the Advanced category, and scrolling all the way down to use the 1904 date system. We'll check the box, click OK. The negative times are fixed, absolutely fantastic. But then look at the dates in G1 and H1. They have now changed. So sure, I could change them back, but in a scenario where you may have many more dates or they may be the result of formulas themselves, then changing that system date is not going to be good for you. It was great for the negative times though. So I'm going to switch that back because maybe those dates are important and let's look at our second approach. Now the other approach is to use the text function and we'll display the answer as time but we're going to have to store it as text. So the big negative here is that by storing it as text we won't be able to perform further calculations on this. So once again if that's not a problem then it's a brilliant solution. If it is then these are the problems that we come across with negative times in Excel. So to get this done, uh, we're going to use this text function, but I'm going to use it for both the positive and the negative time, because I'd like to remove the hours from the result, like we can see at the moment. It's unnecessary. None of the time differences will be an hour's difference over the course of a marathon. So I'm coming into the first formula here, and I'm going to start with the if function, and we'll test if the result of C3 take away C2, we'll test if that is greater than or equal to the value of zero. If it is, then this must be a, a positive time difference, i.e. it was a slower time. I'm going to use the text function in this scenario to simply format that difference, C3 take away C2, in the MM SS format. 
Now, if you're new to the text function, it's a brilliant function, especially for getting creative labels on your reports and your, your chart labels. It's brilliant. And it's coming to our rescue here to display the time correctly, despite it being text. So I'll close off that text function, comma, into the negative one, the one that's the real source of our problem. I'll use another text function here, and we're also going to bring in the ABS function to make an absolute value. So we're going to remove the negative sign from our result. Another really useful function, let's put this in, C3 take away C2, close off that abs function, comma, and then we'll want to display it. Oh, I'll have the negative sign in here as well, as the minutes, the seconds, and it will close off both the text and our if function. So two text functions there, one for the positive value, one for the negative. So one for the slower time, one for the faster. Both shown in minutes and seconds, but one with that negative sign. When we press enter and copy this down, that has solved our problem of negative time. I'm not performing any further calculations on those results. So it's not a problem in this scenario, but bear in mind those results are text values. So neither of the approaches in this video are perfect, generally speaking, but they may be perfect for you depending on your specific examples. But that is how we deal with negative time in Excel. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to receive notifications of the latest Excel tutorials at this channel. Take care and bye for now.